Gonin, also known as The Five, is a crime thriller film about a disco owner who borrowed a loan from the Yakuza, and because the economy's in the toilet, he is um, he owes them a lot of money, and he's in a bad situation. So he decides to team up with a bunch of uh, eccentric characters around, uh, and they're going to rob the Yakuza. So he's, first off, there's a uh, gay blackmailer, and there's also an um, uh, unstable salary man. There's also an ex-cop who went to prison, and then also um, a Thai pimp. So the five of them team up to rob the Yakuza. However, things go terribly wrong and the Yakuza are able to finger them and send two professional killers to, to come after them. So the only reason why I wanted to watch this movie was because uh, Takeshi Ken Kitano is in it. Um, he actually is not a main character. He has nothing to do with uh, the writing, directing, or producing. He's purely in it for an actor and he's just like a, one of the hitmen characters. So he doesn't really show up till near the end of the movie. But I really liked the dichotomy of the movie. The movie is brutally violent, but it's also very artsy um, in terms of just like composition, um, you know, like the symbolism and the imagery. Um, also, I noticed the direction was kind of weird. It was kind of experimental. Sometimes the camera sort of like floats behind people. Sometimes it like when, when someone judo flips someone, it like flips around with them. It hovers in really close and intimate. It's a really weird direction. I could automatically tell that it wasn't the like Kitano directing, but uh, overall, Gonin's a very intriguing movie about, you know, just men in over their heads trying to do something. It's a very unique sort of crime thriller film that is equally visceral as it is artistic. Um, I didn't hate it, but it wasn't overly amazing. But uh, it's worth checking out if you're a fan of like Yakuza movies or uh, crime thriller films. So I give Gonin a six and a half out of 10.